Hi everyone, today we're gonna... <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Mar and today we're gonna talk about how to go from a girl to a woman. I don't wanna talk about this topic because I feel like I'm still in the in the process but I'm just gonna tell you what I've learned in this time that I've been in this womanhood journey it really is a womanhood journey and I literally just got an, a comment on TikTok and someone said like I can tell that you're in your woman era and, uh, thank you but you know how to be in your woman era like literally so I have my notes here so I'm gonna be looking here so I don't forget anything but the first point is teachability okay so sometimes we want to act like we know everything but not really like let other people teach you things okay learn from others so before when i had my wounded feminine energy i was just no i was so afraid of being like i actually don't know this like i was afraid of being like i don't know and just letting the answer come to you but that's also a feminine trait receiving be open to receiving from others it's okay receive the help receive it go take it um be open to you know getting um i was gonna say getting teached by others like getting you know letting other people help you with information you do not always have to have all the answers also i would say expand your knowledge you know in this you're going from a girl to a woman as a girl yes you might have like knowledge in school etc but you know, you have to get to know yourself get to know your body get to know your what you like what you dislike okay my next point is reality and fantasy okay you need to be able to um see the difference between what's reality like what's real and what's not girly like because i feel like sometimes when you're a girl i feel like that happens to me as a fellow pisces I fantasize, I daydream about certain things, but that's not reality. So you have to take yourself. When you're becoming, you know, you're growing up into a woman, you have to know that there's certain things that, for example, if you um, financially, let's say, before when I started modeling, I would go and buy a pair of shoes, knowing that um, maybe it was above my budget, or maybe um, I just, it was kind of crazy, but I would still buy it. Now, obviously, I have things to pay, I have bills, so it's just like being in that reality of like, okay, this is more important. So having your priorities in tech and just being real about what was happening around you, okay? Yes, fantasize and still keep that childlike energy around you. It might be hard <laughs> all the time, but you know, like just be, be open to um, knowing what's real and what's not because the, the world we asked we're pretty much real so yeah keep that in tech the next one is reaction and response okay so this leads me to self-control you need to be able to control yourself so i'm gonna tell you guys a little story once i was at work and i was really mad because i had finished um i had finished my task right and they told me, oh, can you stay a little longer? And it, would, it was something that kept on going for days that I would always stay for a little bit of more time than the other people. And it got to a point that I had, whole, I had held so much um, anger inside me because I genuinely didn't know boundaries. And I was just speaking up and it got to the point that I just exploded. And I said, no, I'm not going to do it. You can imagine the situation horrible like because afterwards i walked out and i was like oh my god what did i do why did i react like this reaction is just an impulse like us as humans if you get burned with a hair strainer you're gonna naturally like pull away because that's your natural reaction right but obviously if you get burned don't stay there getting <laughs> getting burned like please don't why do I give this type of example? <laughs> it's so funny. But um, literally, learning was a reaction because a reaction is just an impulse naturally, okay? So you have to learn from that. Instead of just reacting, 
I don't know why I'm losing the plot so much today because I, I feel like I'm just in the mood of laughing that I just I'm not being serious enough but um yeah our reaction and our response our response is more intentional and it requires self-control so if you get angry don't just react just stay quiet sometimes it better if you stay quiet mi amor sometimes don't say nothing, feel those feelings, and then afterwards, when you're more calm down, you can get your point across. So now, when I get angry, I just, for example, <laughs> when I get angry, when I, when I think something is unfair, or I'm not being treated right, I just, I'm like, you know what, I think I'm gonna need a minute. I'm gonna need a minute, like, can I please just walk out, and then, you know, and I, I do that instead, I walk out, I'm like, <sighs> take a deep breath, think about the situation and then when you once you come back to the situation or once you have to give a response it comes from um it comes from a different place because it's more intentional because you have to think of it you're like okay instead of reacting you have time to think of what you're gonna say so now instead i just say you know i have things to do afterwards so please let me know beforehand if you guys are gonna need more time with me at work so then we can get to an agreement you know it's it's more mature the response that you give rather than ah oh, reacting because everyone around you is gonna be like looking at you like but you look a mess you look a mess like calm down it's it's not that serious and afterwards you're, you're gonna get like so mad in fact like a few weeks ago something happened where i got like a rude comment like now i'm more like this is the respectful please treat me with respect because i'm respecting everyone here and everything goes well when you talk like that to everyone so yes reaction is an impulse okay and our response is intentional so you have to master self-control when you get to your womanhood because you just people respect you more because i'm talking and like my cat is eating I don't want I don't want to stop him from eating, but he's like, girl. Okay, I had to take him to another room because I was like, girl, I'm making a video and you're here like. <laughs> Why do you want me to finish my video, huh? So every time you give a reaction when you you get mad at someone, you're giving your power away because. People are gonna think like, oh, if I say these type of things, like they know where to push your button, you know, it's like, if, if, if I say that to her, she's gonna just react. So you just wanna um, be in your power again. Feminine energy and a, a feminine woman, a woman that's in her feminine, she has self-control, she controls her emotions. So it's like, emotional intelligence is super, super important. This brings me to my next point, patience. You have to master patience. Okay, I know we live in a world where there's so many distractions and it's so hard to be patient sometimes. The, the more patient you are, the more um, time you have to slow down in a way. So before I was the type of person, like for example, um, I want to go to the gym and I'm like, I want to see the results now, but it's, it's, it's not, it, realistically, it's not going to happen now. So plan more be be open to planning more or taking more time for yourself when you do things quickly anyways it's like you generally don't have as much time to think so the more patient you are the more the better you're gonna see life my next point emotions okay like it brings me to the same point i said before about like when you get angry emotions indicate feedback okay so for example if i start feeling sad about something it's, it's, I'm actually getting feedback. It's like, okay, why is this situation making me sad? So it's actually trying to communicate something to you. So um, I think it's really important being able to release control because once you release control, you, you can be more in your feminine energy. Feminine energy is all about flowing, okay? Let's flow with life, okay? We don't taste, we attract, so flow with life before i was such a perfectionist even with youtube i was like i want this to be like this i want it to be like that but realistically not nothing is perfect okay so learn to love your imperfections okay if you want to start something do it okay because that's a way of controlling as well right 
Controlling also comes from if a point in your life you had a, for example, toxic household like myself, and you come from a toxic household and maybe in your life you were not able to control things, you develop that when you grow up. You have this um, need of uh, having everything perfect and controlling everything, but it's so, it's so stressful. It's so stressful. It's only going to harden yourself. It's only going to put you in your masculine. So you want to be able to just be like, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to control everything. You know what I mean? My favorite one that I feel like I say in every of my videos from here, like I say in every video, but it's truly very, very important. Take accountability. Okay, take accountability because when we don't take accountability, we honestly blame other people. So it's like when you're a little girl, you can be like, oh, this person did that to me, mom. Da, da, da. You can be the type of like, you know, because that's how um, young girls are, okay? They just really don't comprehend and don't understand certain things. So even if someone has done something to you, it's fine. You have to realize the part that we take in into certain things in relationships, for example. I cannot go and blame my ex. My ex did this to me because at the end of the day, I accepted the relationship. I I I said yes to being in a relationship with that person. So this type of thing is taking accountability. Learn everything about it. Okay. My next point would be um learn when it's appropriate to be silent sometimes it's better to sus okay same thing if you're getting angry it's better to stay quiet because you know it's not that it's not that you're not standing up for yourself it's just that if you don't have anything nice to say sometimes it's so much better to just not say anything not every single time you're gonna have to give an explanation especially if it comes from disrespect etc etc also you don't always have to be the loudest in the room you can just listen you can just listen to others honestly and people everyone humans us we love to talk about ourselves everyone loves to talk about themselves so a good rule that you can apply is the 80 20 rule which is like you let the other person talk for 80 percent of the conversation and you speak 20 percent and you know how much people are going to appreciate that they're going to be like oh my god because people don't truly come across um certain people like that so i've really started applying that in my life and everything has completely changed because before i could speak to people but i didn't really know have a dynamic on how to actually speak with everyone and this is going to help you to speak with people every single ages 40 years old six years old 10 15 it doesn't matter you're going to be able to speak with everyone so you let the other person talk and that's another thing stop being needy it's killing your magnetism okay stop being so needy no one likes a needy person it, 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 it just looks bad it kills your attractiveness as a person so it's stopping you from being magnetic as a woman as a girl yes as a woman not so much okay it's, it's not cute <laughs> it's not cute it's not cute have your standards okay don't be so needy like just form yourself like i i am whole by myself okay i'm hope for myself i'm whole by myself but you know if you want to be part of my life and you know that's just an add-on okay but don't be so needy it, it don't it don't look good okay and then also no one likes someone that is talking so much and is not letting them speak it's very overwhelming having to hear someone talk about themselves constantly it's overwhelming if you're doing this stop it so proving you're right you have to stop um having to prove you're right constantly like the same thing i said before like uh for example if you get to into an argument with your sister or with your partner and you get to into an argument with them because let's say um I don't know you asked the person to can you please take the rubbish outside right and you said that but maybe the person didn't hear you and then when the person comes back when you come back from work you see the rubbish is still in the same place what you don't want to do is be like oh my god i'm right and i did tell you to take the rubbish because that's gonna create an argument it's so much better than you know what we can find a solution to this problem right now and you know it's fine so you don't always have to prove you're right even though you were right you don't have to prove you're right okay you don't have to 
when I was younger, I used to do that a lot to my siblings, a little bit. A little bit. I was somewhat, I was a little bit annoying, like, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. But again, I was younger, okay? I'm talking about literally 15, 14 years old. Yes, a girl. But when you grow up, this is these things are truly irrelevant. It's better to uh, find a solution to the issue rather than like going about it like oh who started the argument or who did this and who did that because do you really want to be fighting for your whole life with people that you love or or, or or with with anyone in reality no we don't want to be arguing and fighting and having drama so it's so much better to just like find a solution um also when i say going from a girl like growing up from a girl to a woman please still keep those qualities that you had as a girl that made you so bright and so happy so for example i don't know if you guys are uh, familiar with the show violeta but in that show there's like ludmilla the girl she had like a iconic song like i'm gonna play it because i have to play it like i use that song as my empowerment i'm not even joking not not all the time but there's some mornings that i listen to it and i'm like the words of affirmations in this song is crazy Destinada a brillar, okay? I'm destined to shine. That's what the, the song is called. Okay, so it's like... Iconic. I mean, iconic. You know, iconic. So, yes, that's a thing from my childhood, but I still enjoy listening to it. And I'm like, it's so empowering listening to the words in that song. So you know still keep those qualities and those things that you liked to do as a child maybe you like to skate maybe you like gymnastics whatever it is it is that you like and you enjoy doing don't don't lose the side of you okay reconnect to um your childhood like what you used to like as a child i remember when i had my wounded feminine energy i started watching violetta i said just song and i was like okay let me just watch Violetta. some of these channels all you can truly see the femininity in in certain um characters like cinderella these kind of things you can see how um the characters or the main characters they're always super open to receiving so yes be open to receiving be spontaneous be happy smile more that's a thing that um, I, I had to tell myself like this is smile like smile more okay and yes i hope this video helped i know it's a little bit short but i really wanted to make it because i i really thought these points were really important but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye